Hello Emmanuel students, it's Georgie Coughlin here. I'm just checking in to send you some hugs to remind you what an incredible job you're doing. And as a former Emmanuel student myself, you guys all hold a special place in my heart. The school holds a special place in my heart. This is super tough. You know, this is a like a one in 100 year history event that we're going through as a pandemic worldwide. So it's really important that we all remind ourselves, particularly you guys who are bearing the brunt of it with losing your social interactions, not being in the classroom, not being able to see each other, not being able to do all of the things that I got to do when I was your age. It's really important to remind yourself of what an incredible job you're doing and to be kind to yourself. You're going to have days, I'm sure, where it just all feels too much and it feels like there's no hope. That's normal. It doesn't define you. It doesn't mean that you are going to feel like that every day, but you need to be really, really gentle and kind to yourself when you have those days. So I just wanted to give you a tiny, tiny little challenge, something that's not going to add to a workload because you're already doing such an incredible job. Two things a day. First, can you possibly exercise or get outside? Is there just even 10 minutes where you can do something? The research shows, the data shows that when we move our bodies, our brain is in a much, much, much better place. So what you could do for yourself, one, one thing is just exercise, move your body. It can be stretching. It doesn't need to be a run. If you love running, great. It can be walking. It could be taking your dog. You don't have a pet. You could say to yourself, maybe I could stretch to my favorite song and sing as well. You might say to yourself, I have a skipping rope because it might be chilly and windy in Warrnambool, so I'm going to skip for 10 minutes. Whatever you can do to get that blood flowing to your brain. And then I want you to feel, sorry, I want you to think about how you feel after that exercise. Does it feel better? Does, do things feel a little bit easier? And the other thing I want you to do, so this is two things per day, is what's one tiny act that is something that is being kind to yourself? That could be, I'm going to give myself, and, and preferably, I'm gonna be a bit of a teacher here, I used to be a teacher, preferably this, this kindness act has got nothing to do with screens. So it can't be a screen, so it can't be a movie, it can't be a laptop, it can't be a Nintendo, it can't be an iPad, it can't be a phone. What is an act that you can do that is super kind to you and what you love? Is it sitting in the sun reading a book? Is it sitting in the sun, you're allowed to at least listen to music as long as you're not looking at your phone? Is it sit sitting in the sun and listening to your favorite album or a favorite song? Is it creating a vision board? Is it saying to yourself, I'm going to write and pull my dreams and hopes down for when all this is over about what I'm going to do? Because if we look at those dreams and see them every day, we can have hope. It could be having a bath. It could be that you write a diary and write a diary to yourself. It could be you do some drawing, you do some painting, you're singing in the shower, riding a horse, walking your dog. What is something that you can do that's kind to yourself once a day that really gives yourself a little pat on the back for going, you know what, I'm doing a remarkable job in a global pandemic. I am doing the best I can. So there's two challenges for you, students of Emmanuel College. If you can try and get out and move your body for 10 minutes a day and one act to be kind to yourselves, because honestly, if we can be kind to ourselves and kind to each other, we can get through this a whole lot easier. The schoolwork I know is stressful. I used to teach you 12 biology. I can understand the anxiety and the nervousness and the stress that you're all going through, particularly year 11 and 12 students. That's real. We completely understand those emotions. The system will, however, have to adapt and change and evolve to adjust to what you've gone through. So please don't worry too much because there will be a way. The most important thing is your health, your mental health and your happiness. That is far, far, far more important. So I'm sending you big hugs. We are all thinking of you and try those two little fun things to see if they can hopefully brighten your day.